start. You guys know I've uh, taught science for 19 years. And after a few years, I really started to get to know uh, middle school students really well. And over this last probably 10 years, there's, there's been a huge change in our curriculum to, to try to think about energy and how we can save the world basically with energy. So uh, let's start off, I want to hear like one uh, at a time, what's one way that uh, we get energy for the, you know, people in the world get energy from? Hydroelectric. Hydroelectric, the water, okay? Water spins a turbine, the turbine generates electricity. Solar power. Solar power, okay? Great one. Somebody should do a senior project and put solar panels on McLaughlin, put solar panels on South Metro, or make a parking lot of solar panels for people to park their cars under to protect their cars and to generate solar electricity. The school could actually make money by doing that. Wind power, yeah. Spin a, a fan, a turbine. The turbine is going to generate electricity. Very good. Nuclear power, okay. A little bit more risky, but um, the amount of energy you get is huge okay, compared to those other ones. Yeah. Two magnets is a turbine. Yeah, turbine. Yeah. And um, what's the one that we're trying to get away from? Coal. Coal. Okay. Fossil fuels. It's a non-renewable source. Now, what I've learned, one of the labs I do, um, oh, we probably we might have done it, endothermic, exothermic reaction. Yeah. Oh, we talked a little bit about that. So it was during one of those labs when we were talking about the conclusions and somebody let out a big belch, okay? I don't have a big belch anymore. But the middle school kids, I think, have a bigger belch than anybody in the county. I was joking, oh, is that an endothermic or exothermic reaction? And ha ha ha. But then I thought, I wonder if there is some power that can be stored in a middle school vert that we can capture and generate energy. There's a lot of middle school students throughout the country. All we have to do is just get them to provide a certain amount of vert and then capture that energy. And that's the tricky part. I've been working on trying to capture that energy. The burp energy. So I do need a couple volunteers um, that can come up here and they're just gonna they're just gonna give a, a burp underneath this container right here. They're just gonna tip this up and just burp right in here. Okay. Well, Walter. No. I would do it but I would do it but I'm filming. Yeah. I'll hold my hand. This is. You have a soda for us? It's all on you. I'll do it. Alright, bro. This is nice. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. 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 I'll
The code is gonna be like five or two. Oh, <laughs> that's actually just 